Well, thank you for joining us at 5. I'm Britt Moreno. I'm Daniel Marine. Today, talks began on the Williamson County Regional Animal Shelter, possibly taking over the city of Georgetown's shelter. The city says it's a way to get ahead of overcrowding expected in the near future. And KXAN's Mercedes Hernandez has more on why handing over the leash wouldn't be the end, but rather the next step for the city shelter. <laughs> with plenty of furry faces at its animal shelter, Jack Daly with the city of Georgetown says it won't be long before it's already full facilities get overwhelmed. Georgetown, one of the fastest growing cities in the country, and we know one thing we definitely need to do is build a new animal shelter. Tuesday, the Georgetown City Council got a peek at what it could look like if the Williamson County Regional Animal Shelter took over its operations. It wouldn't be the first time. We serve the city of Hutto, Cedar Park, Round Rock, Leander, and Williamson County. Misty Valenta, director at the regional shelter, says an influx of cats and dogs is a problem all over not just in Georgetown. So we just went through um, a pandemic where many clinics were closed, so people could not receive spay neuter services. We also have folks who are experiencing difficulty finding housing that allows them to move with their entire family, animals included. If this partnership happened while its facility is empty, Daly says Georgetown would then expand and upgrade. It doesn't meet modern standards. The laundry room and the surgery room are in the same place, which is not how you would build a shelter today. This was just the first of likely many discussions to come as the county and Georgetown sniff out what's best for these animals. In Georgetown, Mercedes Hernandez, KXAN News.